The U.S. shot down a suspected Chinese spy balloon over the weekend. We're joined now by Dr. Patrick Cronin, Asia-Pacific Security Chair at the Hudson Institute. Uh, Dr. Cronin, thank you again for joining us. So last time we spoke, uh, this thing was still in the air. It has now been shot down. What type of debris field are we looking at? And, and does the water complicate the process of finding all of the parts? Well, I think they've already located some of the debris, and it's in the FBI for forensics. But I think Jake Sullivan, the National Security Advisor, referred to a 15 by 15 football field debris field. So a pretty large field, relatively shallow water. But just because it's relatively shallow for ships doesn't mean that 50 feet of water isn't difficult for finding bits of uh, a balloon uh, and bits of the apparatus that the balloon was was holding. Well, Dr. Cronin, how likely is it that these remnants will be salvageable? I mean, they are going to, you know, hit the water, um, possibly, you know, waterlogged now, damaged once they made impact. You know, if they are salvageable, what could they then possibly tell us? I think they'll be able to put together and identify the types of signals and imagery uh, apparatus that were, were hanging on the balloon. Um, and they'll probably find that these are indeed part of the People's Liberation Army uh, surveillance balloons that uh, China has been using for the last 10 years or so with increasing frequency. We, we now found out, we now found out um, the head of North American uh, Air Defense, the commander, just said today that we have a domain gap. We, we really weren't able to find and locate these balloons despite very expensive radars and missile defense systems. So China may well have been probing here for our own gaps to, to find out whether indeed we do have uh, limitations on our defenses. You know, Doctor, I think a lot of this can get lost in translation for so many Americans. You know, to cut it down to the basics, how long until we know what was recovered and will we ever know? Well, I can't say for sure, but um, I'd be surprised if by the end of this week we don't have uh, some type of statement out of the Pentagon saying, look, there were definitely spy cameras on this on this balloon. Uh, this was a spy mission um, and uh, we can rule out a weather balloon. So, Dr. Cronin, you know, I spoke with you last week, asked for this question, still have it. What is the point of a balloon? You know, what's the difference between using a balloon versus China spying on us via a ship or via satellite? You know, when we have a, a tragedy like uh, what we've seen in Turkey and Syria today, uh, it seems trivial. But, you know, U.S.-China relationship is the most consequential major power relationship in the world. And when one balloon can hold it up and can be a, a big incident that stops diplomacy, this is serious business. And it's also if it's testing our missile defenses and our uh, sovereignty and our ability to patrol our own borders, that's a big issue as well. So a balloon provides a different trajectory. It provides a different approach. It provides slow, loitering, high level um, sort of altitude that's different from the missiles that our expensive radars apparently are looking for because they weren't looking for balloons. And that's why we've missed the many balloons that have gone by in the past, uh, according to the commander of NORAD today. So it's very important for us to remember low technology equipped with modern technology, including cameras, spy gear, maybe electronic jamming equipment in the future. This can be very powerful. It could be a mothership for drones. Um, so we have to be aware of all trajectories when we're trying to defend borders, not just here, but we're trying to pr provide maritime uh, domain awareness and security throughout the Indo-Pacific, which is a much bigger area than our own borders. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.